get that. But they were incredibly devout people. Now, some will argue they were deists, but reading the Bible and quoting the scripture was something they did quite regularly. And they referred to reliance upon that divine power. In fact, uh, George Washington kept a journal and he wrote in the journal uh, incredible prayers. And I have one here, a little journal entry that I'd love for you to read, if you're willing. Because again, I think, and speak to that history that you know so well about our country, thank you, about that commitment that these people had to the foundation of this nation being built upon scriptural truth. Well, I'm saying that the roots of America are in the Torah, Exodus and Deuteronomy. So 90% of Americans at the time of the revolution came out of a Reformation background. So it would be a privilege yeah, to Yeah, take a, an example, because I think, again, our illiteracy in the way that these men wrote and spoke is a detriment. That, and we talk about separation of church and state. Let's hear what the founder, George Washington, talked yeah. about. And this is taken from his prayer journal. Almighty God and most merciful Father, who commanded the children of Israel to offer a daily sacrifice to you, that thereby they might glorify and praise you for your protection both night and day. Receive, O Lord, my morning sacrifice, which I now offer up to you, a day which is consecrated to your own service and for your own honor. Let my heart, therefore, gracious God, be so affected with the glory and majesty of it that I may not do my own works, but wait on you and discharge those weighty duties you require of me. He goes on to say, My sins, remove them from your presence, as far as the east is from the west, and accept of me for the merits of your Son, Jesus Christ, that when I come into your temple, my prayers may come before you as incense, and as you would hear me calling upon you in my prayers, so give me grace to hear you calling on me in your word, that it may be wisdom, righteousness, reconciliation, and peace to the saving of the soul in the day of the Lord Jesus Christ. Bless my family, kindred, friends, and country. Be our God and guide this day and forever for his sake who lay down in the grave and rose again for us. Jesus Christ, our Lord. Man, that's George Washington's Incredible. prayer. What a journal. And Oz, what a way to end this. Thank you so much for your diligence in writing another.